We're going to bring in a market guy, Gary Kalbaum, Kalbaum Capital Management President, and we pay him too. He's a Fox News contributor. That's extraordinary. <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Now then, um, you're in Florida. You're going to have to explain Florida to me. What's going on down there? Andrew Gillum is a socialist, and he is leading the governor's race. What are you people thinking? Hey, don't look at me. Uh, I'm a nice guy. If I had friends, they'd tell you. Look, l let me say this. I, the one thing I don't understand that he's leading right now by a little bit. Let me read from his website his exact words, and it's quite interesting. By adjusting our state corporate tax level to a modest seven and three quarters. He uses the word adjusting, not raising, and a modest seven and three quarters. But here's the problem. When you're a state, you are competing with surrounding states. This would make us the highest corporate tax rate in the Southeast, competing with everybody else. North Carolina is going down next year to two and a half percent. He wants seven and three quarters. Imagine a corporation up in the Northeast wanting to move down to the South and says, huh, North Carolina, two and a half, Florida, seven and three quarters. I think we're headed to Raleigh. So. I think he's going the wrong way. I don't know what the people are thinking. And by the way, he also used the term, we need to recoup money. Recoup, it's the corporation's money. It's the people's money. The problem with the left is they think it's their money before the people. And that's what we're, we're in this soup right now. If he wins, you're going to get a state income tax. I can see it coming a mile off. But don't, don't, uh, well, I, I'm a big believer when you see the first proposal, you see a second and third, and the, they go where the money is. And due to the fact we, we have a 0% state income tax, that's where he's going next. And the shame of it is, we, if we were a country, Stuart, we'd be the 17th largest in GDP. In the last year, we created uh, 200,000 jobs. Everything's going great. People love coming here for the beaches, the great universities, yeah. the climate. We have so, the tourism, everything going for us. And the last thing you want to do is take money out of the economy and put it in the hands of the politicians who oh. we know are inefficient, ineffective. But, by the way, the name of his plan, the Fair Share Plan. <laughs> right, I've heard that we before. We are screwed, my friend. <laughs> okay, let's turn to the markets. Yes. You say... November will not be much of a relief from the dreadful October we've just gone through. So, yeah, look, what? no big rebound? Yeah, as you know, I, I've been bearish, and, but you're always going to get big bounces, especially when you get so stretched and oversold like we've been. I think once this ends, and I think maybe we can get another couple percent, I think we go into what I call a whipsaw. If you remember back in February after the drop, it took about three or four months to repair all the damage of everything getting hit so hard and then turn back up. Uh, I, I think we're going to see a lot of that in, in the next few weeks where you're going to be up 500 over a few days, down 400, and we're going to end up running in place. And just hopefully if rates stay low, the economy stays strong, earnings stay strong, we get going again. But I think it's probably going to be uh, uh, first quarter of next year. Uh, I do think we may get a, a little end of year bump because that's what usually happens. But uh, expect uh, some nausea. But I think the worst is probably over for now. That's the good news. That is the good news in Indeed. Gary Kalpam, you're all right. See you again soon. Thank you, <laughs> Thank sir. Thank you.